If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. All right, so round one of Oops, It's a Deck. Uh, yeah, it's a good deck. First. It is a good deck. I almost double-clicked that, oh, too. Oh, God. We have a confluence. We're in good shape. Uh, yeah, this seems fine, actually. Yeah. We'll just go all in on the hind if we have to. All right, mm -hmm. keeping it. Should we just... No. I was going to say, should we turn on Mana Confluence to send a message? But no, because this literally does nothing unless you pay life. Yep. Which, you know... I mean, that, 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 that sends a serious message. Yeah. Hello and good luck. Oh. Darn it. Well, we can cast it into darkness. That's true. I mean, it seems like a reasonable use for a freak has chosen, or mm -hmm. for a cast. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Fonts. I'll play it. And then. Invocation, swing for four. <laughs> I mean, probably? I mean, I guess we could also. Well. Yeah. All right. It seems like a suboptimal play. Let's do it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> it's okay. We're ahead on the race. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm glad we put a feral invocation on our mana, on our mana bear. I hope our opponent just passes and spends this turn sacrificing the font. Do it. Oh, do it. Do it. Oh. oh my god. Wow. Mono Chosens. Alright, so two options here. Cast it into darkness and yeah. swing for four. Uh, or, probably better use of it, um, lamp pads, which actually doesn't help us in this case because we'd have to use the hind to cast it, or asp. Actually, let's asp because then next turn we can lamp pads and swing with the asp because it'll have intimidate. Yep. So, alright. So, tap, doo-doo. Ow. I do like that it should always be tapped for white, unless we need to tap it for blue, which is why it's here. Yeah. All right. So our opponent thinks they're in a pretty good position. We've got... Oh, I like this change. By also, the... the, the See the three? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Devotion to green is three. I like the uh, the... The aspect is going to be awesome. That's our winner right there. Especially with Intimidate. Which cast also triggers. Yep. So next turn, hopefully we draw another land so we don't have to use the Confluence again, but I will. Uh, land pads, swing unblockable, basically unblockable. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep, figure that. Sweet. All right. Well, eh, no. I mean, I think I still want to get the land pad train rolling, and just and the next turn we can play this and this and have that up. Yep. All right, go for it. So, all right, do 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 do. Ow. Ow. All right, we've taken three from that now. <laughs> Worth it. Haha. -ha. They've also changed how that looks. Block me now. You can't. You can't do it. All right. And I'll probably cast into darkness on one of the chosens, or maybe he plays something better here. These guys don't seem amazing, but they they can I mean, work. And I think in a black green deck, when you've got the big scary creatures, it actually seems pretty sweet. Yeah, and I think they can trade for bigger guys too, as well. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. So we've only actually taken two damage from our opponent. Yes. But we've paid three life to the mana confluence. <laughs> it was a wise investment. I mean, the thing is, that hand... Would that hand have been a keep? Uh, probably. It, it wouldn't have worked out as well. Oh, uh, uh, without the confluence? If that, well, if the conf, actually, if the confluence had been a forest, it would have been probably just fine. Mm -hmm. To be honest. I still think our c current number of swamps is probably correct.
But yeah, we can swing for... Uh, we can get in for seven next turn with if we Asp and Hydra. Not that I'm saying we should, but... What is this? Ooh, the Devourer. You are getting cast into darkness. All right, we get milled. Oh, crap. Man. All right. Actually, I mean, it doesn't matter what we cast in the darkness because Intimidate. Yeah. But. Oh, I could have... Oh, no. Death Touch. Right. Good. I'm glad I didn't just idly snap block that. Okay, so what are we casting in the darkness here? Um, it really doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters. I think cast the Into the Darkness, cast the Seder, and then swing. And then if we can pull out another... Uh, if we can trigger Constellation next turn... we If we cast swing. the Chosen, then he can only block... He, the best he can do is double blocking the Hind with yeah. these two guys. And then if we wanted, we could just aspect and for the mad blowouts and kill both of them. I think kill both of them. Four plus it'll be four. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's, wait, so let's, no, 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 hold on. What? It'd be... It will be four. It's three right now, but if I cast the Seder pre-combat... But that's only eight. That's not enough. That's nine it's enough to. Oh, it is nine toughness. Yeah. So we could still only... Now, that would save our guy. Like, we wouldn't lose the hind. Yeah. And we could take out, like, the Devourer, but we wouldn't be able to take out both. True. And the aspect is, if we can draw, if we tr trigger Constellation again next turn, or if we could, that would be pretty All sweet. Right. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, I think do chosen. that. Do that. Uh, what's getting Intimidate, then? This, the Asp. All right. Put it on the Asp. Uh, play the Seder anyway? Yeah, play the Seder anyways. And then, yeah, swing with these guys. Actually, we can we can swing with all of them. Really. If he wants to try yeah, and... Yeah, let's, let's, let, let's do it. He's not really pressuring us uh, damage-wise. Can't block the Asp. Definitely taking four there. Can't block with this. He can only block with the Servant and the Devourer. So I guess his best block is probably... And I mean, if he takes... If he doesn't block the Hind here, then we win. Oh, yeah. Oh. He, and he didn't, so we win. Ow. Hooray! I'll take it. All right, so black, blue. Uh, we didn't see anything with flying. So we're not worried about the weaver? No, I don't think... Or the shredding winds more. Or the shredding winds. Blue, That's more. true. That's fair. Um, how many how many ways do we have to trigger a constellation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, all There's, right. Yeah, no shortage. I think we're okay. fine. Okay. Okay. Well then, let's uh, let's just run yeah, this run good. this back. And we have. It's not like we're completely loose to flyers. No. We also have double guild. For uh, gold value. Which also helps our splash. Yeah. Jesus. This deck is so good. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we just first pick a rare, and that's all we need to do. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, again, uh, yeah, like, sure. And we're ramping into that 6-6 six, six pretty quickly. Oh, man, I didn't even know we had this guy. Yep. Holy crap. All right. Uh, yeah, keep it. Yeah, I, I was... I mean, despite the fact that we were both there... Oh, sweet. Despite the fact we were both talking in what you heard, um, I was I was not, I was actually in the other room for most of the actual draft. So uh, there's definitely some cards in here that I didn't uh, know we had. Hmm. Well, drawing land land was not the greatest, but whatever. Do we just? Uh... All right. I was going to say, do we just play the wolf on three? But now we definitely don't, because this can just block it all day long. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's... Ooh, that's good. Okay. I was going to say, do we just hind Invocation again? But no. No, we'll just play the Weaver. Yep. Next turn, we can put the Wolf on... I don't know, the Weaver. That's this is going to start an interesting self-mill train that uh, is pretty curious. But we can stop it at any point by paying three to sack the guy. So... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We're getting just chiseled away here. That's pretty good. So 
So that happens, and we pitch Oak Heart, Dryads, and a Swamp, and then we lose a life to the Fate Unraveler. That's okay, because next turn we get uh, this guy. Yep. So, yeah, I guess just bestow on the Weaver. Yeah. Makes it big enough that he can't double block, right? Oh, no, I guess he, can do he, he could double block. I'd be okay with that. Probably just kill the Fate Unraveler. I mean, I'm not going to not attack here, so... Yeah. Yeah, fight you. Hooray! I, mean, I guess we're shields down now, so he gets to attack us. Oh, that's fine. For four. And then a fifth on our draw. But then we get to uh, play a 6-6, six, six, and that should help things. He can't really attack... Oh, okay. All right. I guess he's going to get another blocker down. Yeah. So. This is an interesting race. Because we are actually racing at the moment, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, it's a race I think we win. It, I think so. It's possible that either we or our opponent are incorrect as to which one of us is on the beatdown. And he didn't play anything there. which is That's super suspicious. Yeah. Oh. What is this? Upkeep. Riptide. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that is clever! Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Nope. I guess I could sacrifice it in response. Um... I don't know if that's great, All we though. can do is get back the Oakheart Dryads. That seems bad, and that stops us from playing the... the... We can then play the Oakheart Dryads this turn, but I don't really care about the Oakheart yeah, Dryads. Yeah, no, I think that's just... Okay. All right, so we lose our Nyx Weaver and one other random cast into darkness. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna that's be fun. That's gonna be good. All right, well, let's um, attack with, attack the, wolf. with the just the wolf. Yeah, because not don't want to make that mistake. Trident tactics, get me. Ugh, that would be pretty bad. Eh, that wouldn't be the worst. We have a feral invocation. We really want to. All right, fight you. All right, what's he going to do? Give us a 12-12? A 12 is pretty dangerous, because he knows we have the lamp heads in the deck. I'm pretty happy he used his grip tide there. 12-12 12 12 it is. 12. Man, if we... <laughs> yeah, if we draw that, it's just... I mean, he could have a lot of stuff. So this must be blocked by one thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So it just, just has, has to, to be, be blocked. blocked. So And he has to block it anyways, so... Yeah. That doesn't actually change anything. Oh, yeah, it is exactly lethal, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Actually, if we so if we top deck the lamp pads, he's just dead. He is just dead. Unless he, I mean, obviously he's got any number of ways he could interact with it. Yeah, he's got six mana. He's got three cards. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like th this deck. I want this to be a thing. This is what I. This is this guy is what I wanted to do in the triple journey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was just try and go mono grim guardians. But this seems like just a perfect combo. Mm-hmm. It's the just just death just, by a thousand cuts. Yep. Okay, going to combat. Okay, and not doing passing anything. the turn. Super suspicious. Ooh, guild is fun. Uh, yeah. All right. So I guess. Um. Do we just attack with all three and keep up Feral Invocation? We can do Invocation and Guild if we want by playing Mana Confluence post-combat. Or I can just play it now. But we can do both of these this turn. Let's attack. He has to block this. Or he, he has to do something. Yeah. Has to block this. We can save one of these. We don't need the mana anymore, so... Let's just attack with all three. Sure. We can play Feral Invocation on something. Presumably he has some sort of counterspell or response or, I don't know, like, cutthroat maneuver, like... Voyage's End. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Darn. Now if we want to use the Feral Invocation, we can't actually replay. No, but... Um, let's see how he blocks here. He might not. 
Ooh, he's Ooh. got more stuff. Cloaked Siren. Okay. 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 So, if we use the Feral Invocation, we can save a guy and kill the thing it's, that's blocking it. So These guys trade, trade anyway. I mean, what we could do is we could feral the hind, save it, let those two trade, and then guild guild the Faden Rebel. And then, and then he has, he's got one card in hand and, one card. and no board. Correct. That seems pretty good. Yeah, it seems, and we have two pretty big creatures. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Oh, did I miscount? Oh, oh we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. can't guild. I can't did guild. miss. I was counting the hind. Well, look at that. Oh well, still. This still seems okay. Hmm. That's silly of me. Oh well. Well, he can't do 11 damage to us here. No. We still have the ox and the guild and all sorts of stuff. Ooh, going, going, now. going aggro. All right. Well, I mean, I guess he is ahead on the life totals. Scryfish. Okay. Okay. And that. Ugh. Hey, that's interesting. <laughs> We're in seven, though. God, he's gonna make me guild this, isn't he? Because he can. If if this fights with this, it just dies. Well, we get to pick, though, don't we? Uh oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. Okay, so if we guild the chosen now, we can guild one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can guild and use the hind to cast Agent of Horizons. That's not amazing. It's not the worst, though. Well, the agent can't block this profitably. No. Hmm. Probably just want to guild this. This is the thing chiseling away our life total. Yeah. Like, I'll trade off whatever. Yeah, that seems better. Oh, wait, hey, if we guild, we have one more mana. That's what I did. I did it in the wrong order. Oh, yeah, yeah, If we yeah, guild, yeah. we get a mana out of that. that we, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. So we can guild and attack, but then that's not great. No. The attack is bad if we're not gilding the Chosen. Yeah. So. Which doesn't seem like a great use of our time. No. But we can still, we can still guild and Agent of Horizons and leave this back. Yeah. Although, yeah, okay. Do it. So, so kill this? that. Yeah. All right. Boop. Kill you. And then play this thing. Although I guess... I guess we don't need to use the Confluent. We could, we could just use the Hind. Like, what are we doing? Like, letting this through? That's fine. Yeah, let's not, let's not ping ourselves here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, white again. Yeah, he's got no cards. I mean, I guess that was another, that would have been a free agent activation. But then we would have had to pay to cast him, so whatever. Yeah. Opponent is top decking. I mean, I, I, I cannot believe that we made optimal plays there for the last couple turns, but I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we're just... I'm yeah, okay to just take that, I think. Take it. Of course. <laughs> okay. That's going to be fun. Uh, that's three currently. So it's not just game. That hits him for six, though. No, but we can... I think we're just playing just Ravager. Out. Yep. All right. I'll trade the agent for a chosen next turn, probably. And then he's just going to give us a 12-12 again. All right. I guess it, I guess it kind of matters if he tops or bottoms this. I'm thinking about it. Which means it ain't, it's not a land. Mm-hmm. So, bottom and then draw land. <laughs> That's my hope. <laughs> ah, topped it. Yeah, crap. After some debate. Yeah. Which guild was that? No, it wasn't our foil guild. Nope. What a shame. It just means we have another. 
I mean, Sea God's Revenge would get us pretty good here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be really bad. I feel I don't feel like he would have waited that long for a Sea God's though. No, I think he just snap takes Sea God's whenever you get the chance. Is this a grip tad? What is this? Ooh, that. Whoa, wait, uh, <laughs> starfish! Holy okay. crap! That's amazing. Okay. Wow. And he's attacking with it too. Yeah, we can't block that. No. Okay. So we're dead next turn. We have to kill him now. Alright, what do we get? I don't think that's going to do it. Uh, It's five, so this does eight currently. Oh. Uh... If, if we make it unblockable. So we pay one, make it unblockable. So that goes through for sure. Uh, and then, he, then just he just blocks, blocks. Block. I mean, mm. we have to go for it. We have no other play, right? Yeah. There's no way he doesn't just block, block, though. The Golden Hide Ox doesn't help us. Even casting it only gets us one additional devotion, meaning this thing does nine. Um, that just means that target creature must be blocked, but that doesn't... That doesn't actually help us because he's going to block anyway. Yeah, flying starfish actually is going to get us here. <laughs> this is kind of funny. What if... Yeah, yeah. I think the only way to, to do this is make the agent unblockable, attack with everything, and... The agent being unblockable doesn't matter, though. Because he'll probably just block the... Well, if he does... If he blocks... If he if he leaves back a Chosen for some stupid reason... Like, the only way... Okay, wait, wait, wait. What if we play the Ox... Yeah. F ...and say that uh, the Agent has to be blocked? Yeah. Then you can only block one of the other things. Yeah. Our Devotion will be six. No, that doesn't work. Close. Our devo Wait, if our Devotion... If we be... play the Ox, our Devotion is six. But then, So he has yeah, to so block the ten. Ravager... Because that's lethal on its own. If we force him to block something else, he still has a chosen. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think the only way to do it is play the ox, attack with everything. And what, what, do we, what do we force what him? What do we force him to block? Uh, the agent, I guess. All right. Or maybe the golden hind. Like, then maybe he... Or the Ravager, so he has to. <laughs> Don't forget, we only, we only have to do 11 damage to him. Don't forget. We can do 9, assuredly. 10 if he blocks... If he lets this through. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I mean, basically the All only right. thing to do is play that. What are we forcing him to block? I don't think it matters. He had, I mean, he's just, if he snaps blocks two of our guys and we're done, right? Yeah. So, make him block, he has to block the Ravager anyway, he's never not going to. So make him block the agent. agent. Sure. Alright. I mean, I guess we could have not done that and see if maybe he lets the agent through. I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, of course. That was, yeah, that was stupid. Why did we do that? I don't know. Yeah, no, that was dumb. <laughs> because now he has to block the agent, and he has to block the Ravenger. We get him for 10. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if we had uh, not made him block, then maybe he wouldn't have blocked. Maybe. He probably would. He probably would have. Whatever, I'm doing it anyway. The scoop. Don't do the math. Just, <laughs> yeah. just concede. Just concede. Down to two. And down to one. That was right. that was pretty entertaining, to be honest. I think we can get him in game three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I guess the play there would be don't force him to block something and hope that he doesn't. Although, yeah. I don't think there's a... Any scenario where he doesn't. I'm gonna bring the winds in this time. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, like noble quarry. Yeah, I was, I was thinking maybe really noble quarry. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's good against those chosens. 
Yeah. All right. Boop. Ooh, Crash of Rhinos. That's a good name. Nice. I like that's a card. It's a good card. All right, let's play. Uh, that seems uh, kind of not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Eh. I'm pretty happy with that one, actually. <laughs> uh, this seems like a mulligan, though. Yeah. Um, man, I kind of want to keep it, but we probably shouldn't. I mean, this doesn't... Five really... land is just... Yeah, that's too much. Of course. I mean, this seemed, This is a lot... Was way more keepable. Mm-hmm. Any land, we get the hind, and then we can cast all our spells. Well, except... Except for that. If keep it's it. a swamp. All right. Be greeds. One land. We're on the draw, or we're I guess no. We're, we're on the play, play, but uh, yeah. I mean, if we draw a greed mode activated, I mean, drawing a swamp is like super is, rewarding. Ugh. Nope. Okay. All right. Bad start. <laughs> How to lose game three with loading ready run. I think I still go for the hind. Yes. Even if we draw a second forest. Okay. Uh oh. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We could still grind our way out of this. We got the GTA of Nylea in hand. We got some good blockers. Land. Oh, oh my dear god. god. Okay. Uh, I'm going to discard Voyaging Seder, I think. Sure. Boop. It's a disappointing game three. Oh, oh yeah. that's. I think we're dead. Oh, <laughs> we're so dead. <laughs> uh, okay. Super dead. Yeah. What are we discarding here? The shredding winds. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, take that six. Sure is six, and then take one more on the upkeep, and then if we draw land, we're not just dead, and we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> we're ruined. Wow. Okay. Uh, that Awkward. didn't happen on to round two. 